This is another view from a camera on the outside of the space station with a close up look at uh, Forrester on the left and Swanson in the center. This is a view from the helmet cam on Pat Forrester's spacesuit looking at Steve Swanson. Motion, keep it coming, Pat. Good motion. Continue the up. Good evening and welcome back to the Johnson Space Center for tonight's mission status briefing after a busy day in orbit. The uh, guidance navigation control computers and the command and control computers in the service module are not functioning. Uh, our Russian colleagues tried a number of, uh, of techniques to try to recover the computers and were not successful. Uh, they have since uh, stood down and, uh, and gone off to, uh, to meet with uh, amongst themselves and with our colleagues to try to uh, come up with some recovery steps. Uh, it's late, so we're going to take about one or two more questions. So Mike, did you have a follow-up? I do not expect uh, that in the next couple, three days, we won't be sitting here telling you that we've got these computers back and we've, we have kind of understand why that occurred. I just don't see that as being a scenario by the time our shuttle friends leave. Uh, if we are in that position, we have an option to depart. We always have an option to do that. This is Mission Control Houston, now two hours and 47 minutes into today's spacewalk. This helmet camera view from the spacesuit of Pat Forrester as he and astronaut Steve Swanson move to the newly installed S4, uh, S3 truss element here to install, install brace beams, each of them installing two on the solar alpha rotary joint for this truss. Uh, air to ground two, uh, more on the solar race. Okay, great, thanks.